Got a question for you. What's heavier? A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? That's right, it's a kilogram of steel because steel is heavier than feathers. What do you mean? They're both a kilogram. But steel's heavier than feathers. <laughs> I know, but they're both a kilogram. What? It doesn't prove anything. Steel's heavier than feathers. I know, but look, they're both a kilogram, right? So they're the same. I only want to look at the size of this, this chain. No, they're the same no, weight. No, it's a kilogram. But steel's heavier than feathers. Paul gonna tell them. They're right. They're both a kilogram. Oh no, no you are not. What is it you don't get? <laughs> I'm joking. Are you alright? I don't get it. It's alright. Yeah, don't worry about it. We've got to save the planet. That's what they say. Our planet is dying. Good. Do I save the planet? Because the reason for saving the planet is so that it can be enjoyed by future generations, isn't it? But what if I hate them? Because here we've got the next generation right here. Look. He looks like his trousers have fell down. See, in my day, see if you look like that, it would be because your trousers have fell down. That's the sort of thing you used to run up behind people and day to them. I hate him. And as for generations to come, people 500 years from now, I've not even met them and I hate them already. And you should as well because they'll be looking back to this day and age and they'll be laughing at us, calling us barbarians, pure gain us a hard time. Why would you want to leave him a beautiful planet? It's in perfect nick. I couldn't bear the thought of any people on my planet pure living up. No way. And you know what the saddest thing is? We want to be there to laugh back at them. To give them a hard time. But we can get the planet to give them a hard time on our behalf. By destroying it. By leaving them a planet so ravaged that they just need to step out into the sunlight and their skin will fall off. And in that small way, even though we'll be dead, we'll have lived on through dear old Mother Earth. So cheer up. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. My dream girl. You are the woman of my dreams. Gonna brush your teeth. I want to take you away. Take you to places you've never been. Morocco. I've been to Morocco, it's shite, they all stare at you. Love, it is a river, a stream, a waterfall, it is an ocean between us, it is a wave that washes... You bald. Penny for your thoughts. I hate that sound you make when you smile. Rolling chips, please. Day, bad day, I will die day in bad day, bad day, I will die day, 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 bad day. What are you doing? Trying to run. But I don't know you, mate. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you.
I don't know you. I've got somebody coming around later, somebody very important. Get this place tidied up! Three hours later. Oh, these are lovely. All the memories. That's you not one, Elsie. Oh, I. Here, that's a lovely frame. And then here is a... Uh... Sorry about the mess. Oh. It's fine. I just need to look where I'm standing. Sorry. And heels. Oh, hello. I couldn't see you there. I'm surprised you couldn't see where the, the mess. Oh, not to worry. Aye. Uh, I'm going to show you next door. Lovely size of room. Yeah. Bye. Oh, <laughs> I nearly stood in a plug there. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Oh, I don't know, get the door for you. Thanks. Good to know there are still some gentlemen left in the world. Yeah, uh, sorry about the mess in there. Oh, that was nothing. All right, I'll see you later. Cheery, bye. Bye. I want you out! Thanks for tidying the room. Thanks for completely embarrassing me in front of my guest. And thanks for when she said hello to you. Thanks for no saying hello back. Thanks for just staring at her. I'm sure that made her feel very welcome. Yes, it is. Ah, no, nah, I'm not interested, thanks. No, I'm not. I don't want to buy anything, thanks. And could you take me off your database, please? I, no, I, I'm not. In... What kind of coin pawn? <coughs> I want this block up. You better hurry. I think I'm about to. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, Purple. It's okay, Summer. I was due for a bath anyway. And if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in tonight's program, you can call the number at the bottom of your screen. Hello, is this number at the phone if I've been affected by any of the issues in Yes, tonight's... it is. Right. Well, I've been affected by some of the issues in tonight's programme. Oh, sorry to hear that, sweetheart. Yeah. Okay, thanks for calling. Bye for now. Alright, bye. What? Okay, okay, thanks, bye. That was the police. It's about Mum. She's had her head kicked in. <laughs> Alright, Mum, she's had her head kicked in. <laughs> We need to talk. What about? I'll buy a split up. Split up? What for? I'm fed up. Really fed up. I'm fed up for years. We don't go out, we don't do anything. I don't understand. This is totally out of the blue. I thought we were getting on. What's happened? Nothing's happened. That's what's trying. I feel like I'm no... We're no... We're no what? What's wrong? I don't know. I'm talking shit, just forget it. Is everything all right? Aye.
It's um, it's about three in the morning. I woke up during the night there. Don't know why I woke up, but um, I thought, right, I'll, I'll get up and get a wee drink of water. I'll go downstairs to the kitchen and get myself a wee drink of water. Um, I came down here into the hall and I could see why it was that I woke up. There's a guy in my house. I don't think he's a burglar. I think he's just, he's just came in. He's just came into the house. I sometimes leave my kitchen window open during the night just to freshen the place up a wee bit and I think he maybe got in that way and, uh, you know, he's not, he's not quite sure where he is. He's not always coming out. He's just a wee bit curious. He's just having a wee look. He's just having a look. He's in a strange place. This is... I'm sure he's as scared as I am. That's him away. That's him away. I think he just wanted a wee look. He's just curious. He's just curious. That's him away. That's him away now. Look who's back. Look, it's about quarter to four in the morning. Um, I went back to bed, I got woke up again, and I came down and here he was. Just came back for another wee look, didn't you? Just came back for another wee look. He was just curious. There we go. Guess who's back? It's about half five in the morning now. I don't know why he keeps coming back, but I think he's wanting me to reach it. I'm going to touch him. I'm going to try and reach it. Right, here he comes. He's just curious. He's just, he's, he's, he's as scared as I am. He's as scared as I am. He's, scared, he's as scared as I am. There we go. There we go. That's all he wanted, just wants a wee touch. <laughs> right, shut that window. Shut that window. Get that window shut. Yeah! Check his data head, man! That old guy's up, he's not! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! That's my dog! Son. <laughs> hold on, somebody hold on, we've got to stop for dancing! Yeah, please! Leave us! Yeah! Dad, don't please your heart! I miss your ma, son! I miss her too much! Dad, don't leave me! I'm coming again, yeah! 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 Heal me! Heal me! Heal me fucking go! Heal me! Heal me! Heal me fucking go! I'm gonna say something to you right now that I've never said to another living soul in my life. I mean, can you can hide it in? Can you hide it in? You're a lion. You're a liar, a liar, a liar. You're a liar, a liar, a liar. What's that? What's that noise?
If you're a cat owner, you might sometimes wonder, do you own the cat? Or does the cat own you? It's you that owns the cat, you daft bastard. <coughs> Shut up, you dozy cow! Hey buddy, you think you've had a bad day? Today I had to tell my kids I've got a tumor. <laughs> hey, you know, you're a real SOB. People, people not parties, came up to others. Selfish, inconsiderate bastards. I hate them. But then, I hear them play one of my favourite songs. And I start to loosen up. I start to chill out. Because it reminds me that they're just like me. They're not bad people, they're just having a good time. Then I hear them laugh again. Only this time, doesn't it sound like fingernails on a blackboard like it did before? Because this time I realised that if they were my pals, the sound of their laughter would be music to me ears, like a lullaby. But drift off to sleep with a big smile on my face, happy, because my pals are happy. So that's what I'll do. I'll imagine they're my pals. And in a way, they are. After all, they say that a stranger is just a friend that you haven't met yet. Sorry, it's a private party. Hey, brother. Aye, officer, it's an absolute racket. I'm sure I could smell hash and all. Alright, mate. Alright. You lost? Lost? No, mate, cheers. It's just you don't allow your foot in here, no? I'm all just passing through. Sat in your bag, a laptop, eh? Aye. Ah, I wish I had a laptop, man. Aye, you're not missing much. You can take half the stuff on the phone nowadays, can't you? Aye, uh, you really miss it, innit? Well, when I say that, I've got quite a lot of... He's a fucking laptop! Don't, mate. I'm not your mate. He's a laptop. I'll tell you what. How about I give you something more valuable than a laptop? What? what? My time. I want your time. I want your laptop. I have your phone and all. I know you're hunting. What? I know you're hunting. I don't think what me. Out. Am I lying? Got to be hunting today what you're doing. Robbing people, robbing them of stuff that's important to them. Knowing how much that'll hurt them, but no caring. I think the only way you can live for that is because people have hurt you, but they didn't care. So why should you? Well, I care, mate. All right, take your laptop, take your phone and all. I can always replace them, but talk to us. Tell me how you're going to this mess. You never know. Might just help you out. All right. If I go to lose. So about five years ago, I had this big fault with my stepdad. All right. Getting this couch, he got off his brother, and he's what, like carrying it around. He gets a bit knackered, you know, like, I'll stop for a wee break. So, I'm uh, sitting down and we're chatting away, getting on brand new. You know? Then, after uh, three or four minutes, <laughs> So you bought yourself a new motor. A yellow motor. 
What were you thinking? I went to see a movie, everyone said it was great, it's like 92 Metacritic, but it was, it was okay, it was just okay. I got the new OS, everyone said it's full of these great new features, it's supposed to be better and faster, but it's not, it's slower and worse. And I went to a gig, they're like my favourite band, I used to love them, but they, they didn't sound the same, they, they, they didn't sound good, but everyone said they were great, but they weren't great, they were shit, they were shit, everything's shit, everything's shit, everything's changed, everything used to be so good. I said they'd all go travelling, all, all my friends would go to Thailand and Australia and maybe Laos, but no one went, everyone's got jobs and mortgages and now some of them are having kids. Everything's shit. Everything's shit. Everything's shit. Now he gets it.